What is popular, everybody? Mr. Letter here bringing you guys a brand new video, and today's advice video is going to be starting a YouTube channel. Now, this has been a thing that's been coming up a lot lately uh, on my YouTube channel, and people have been commenting me how to start a YouTube channel and DMing me and emailing me and tweeting me, so I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to make a video about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, a couple of my friends, well, actually, one of my friends really wants to start a YouTube channel, and, um, he doesn't really know how to do it, and that's another reason why I'm making this video. So, to create a YouTube channel, I mean, obviously, it's very simple after you create it, um, but they really want to know how you start the YouTube channel and how you start getting, like, views and how you get your videos out there. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little hint on, uh, how I actually got started and ended up getting to where I am today. Um, well, it all started back in 2013 when uh, I first started my YouTube channel. I uploaded a horrible rabbit video that you guys can actually see. Um, just a horrible video. Just was completely pointless. <laughs> and um, that was my first video. I wasn't expecting any views on it. And then uh, I uploaded a Minecraft gameplay because I actually had just gotten my computer. And... Um, I uploaded my first ever Minecraft gameplay. Now, if you guys go back to that gameplay, um, I think the title is my first Minecraft gameplay, but it was so bad. My voice is so high-pitched. It sounds horrible. Keegan's on a Skype call way above. You can see his whole, like, Skype stuff. It just looks so stupid. But, I mean, that's what you guys have to do. Uh, don't be waiting around to make really good videos because you gotta start out somewhere. I mean, I don't regret filming those videos, not even a little. It got me to where I am today, so... I definitely don't regret it, and filming those videos were just easy for me at the time, and I didn't feel like putting in all that effort because I wasn't getting any views or anything, so I just, you know, didn't try my hardest. Now, as my channel grew, I learned a lot more on editing, and, I mean, now my videos are alright. Like, these videos are different because they're filmed right off the edit, uh, filmed and edited right off the Xbox, but, um, my actual videos are... My, not of my advice videos, like my gameplays and all that. That's all I did through the Elgato on my computer, and that all takes forever. So I definitely edit for a long time, a lot longer than I did before. Before, it used to take me maybe 10, 20 minutes to edit a video. Now it takes me one to one and a half to maybe even two hours. Um, so it gets pretty long, but those are the sacrifices you have to take if you're going to be really commit to a YouTube channel. And uh, starting a YouTube channel um, is very, I guess, complex because... You can't just upload anything. You have to upload... Uh, as soon as you have maybe 100 subscribers, you can't just start uploading anything you want anymore. You kind of want to upload what your fans want and what they want. And, I mean, obviously, that goes with anything. You can't just do whatever you want. You have to follow some kind of rule. And um, that's what I do for my YouTube channel. It might be different for you guys, and if it works out for you guys, that's awesome. But I upload what my fans would want me to upload and uh, what they want to see. And I actually enjoy filming everything I film, so uh, it's not like I hate anything. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of like my story, and now I'm going to tell you guys how to do it, and uh, how to get views and stuff. So, a little hint and a little secret that I never told really anybody, um, when I first started YouTube, I actually advertised on Facebook, and I advertised on Skype, and I advertised on Twitter, and Instagram, and all that, a lot. So if you guys have a lot of followers on Instagram, go advertise your channel. It's a very good way for people to, to get your name out there and for people to spread the word about your channel. And same with on Facebook or uh, ten, not Tender, uh, that's a newer app, um, Snapchat, anything like that. You can just kind of get your word out there that you have a YouTube channel. And people will actually go on your YouTube channel and start looking at your videos. Um, so I guess that's kind of like what I would do to get views. Uh, is just, you know, kind of advertise and um, see if you have any connections. See if you can get some sponsors. Sponsors are a very good way to uh, get subscribers and get views. Um, there was my brother's first sponsor was Roadkill T-shirts. Uh, I have, as of right now, I'm still reaching out to sponsors. It's very hard to get sponsors. It's not very easy. But it's all about, I guess, what they want to do, um, they want you to do, and uh, what their re requirements are to be sponsored by the company. That's always hard. So, Keep that in mind that if you get denied a f few times, it's all right. You just keep trying. Just like a job interview. It's not like you're going to get every job you interview for. It's going to take some time, and you just have to be patient. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to LCS below. Keep it G for Gamer, and I'll see you guys on next week's video. Peace.